This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm taking my scraps and my stash and a few things that I got from Happy Mail to create some embellishments. So let's get started. So I've got a variety of everything. I've just kind of, I'm going to do some mindless crafting here. I'm not going to really think about it. I've pulled together some papers and I'm not going to use everything, but I'm just going to kind of see what I like, any colors to catch my eye and just go with it. And then I've got a ton of stickers. I'll just show you, and I'm not going to use all of them, but just to show you that um, my stash, of course, <laughs> is much bigger than this, but I'm just going to pull out a few things so I can make some stuff and have some fun crafting. Also got some, um, some die cuts that were sent to me in Happy Mail. So I'm just so excited to use these and just kind of use up some of the stuff that I have. Why are we holding on to it? I can either make some stuff and use it in cards or some mini books, um, some tags or whatever, but at least I'll have these ready to go. And this is just a nice way of crafting without thinking about it. I'm not gonna like color coordinate or if the color catches my eye, I'll just put it together. I've got some words here. Oh, that's a sticker. Look how adorable that is. Got some words and things here that I'm going to be adding also. Be nice to have some words on my embellishments. So I got a little bit of everything. A nice variety. So just don't be afraid to get your stuff out. Here's some little die cut flowers. Let me show you what these look like. Look at this. Why am I holding on to those when I can use them? make something unique. These would be great to make some embellishments and send them um, to your crafty friends in Happy Mail. I know they would appreciate that. So these are, this is like packaging right here and I thought it was really nice so I just kind of cut it out. Made a little banner there. Got this also. Let's see, I think I'll use that one. This is pretty cute. Just little strips of paper can really make the difference. All those strips, let's see, like this, you can relate to this, right? Having these with the hole on it. I keep that because I can always make something with it. See, this is really cute too. And some of them you can cut down um, so they're not so big. But all of these can go on like a card. All of these. Look at how cute these are. You can go on cards. This was the packaging to some Bow Bunny um, papers, six by six papers. This was actually the front packaging. So you see how stiff that is? I don't throw that away either. I'll just keep it because I could always use it. It's a bunch of stuff. So let's see what else I want to use from this pile here. So you're just taking your pile and you're just having fun. Any of these strips, you can always just cut them down. Let me show you what I do with mine. Make some of these little Banners are always nice. So I love this because it's it's just it's freeing. I just can just do my own thing. And see so that of course whenever you cut stash you create more stash. And that's okay. So I can use all these little things here. Let's see, this had some music on it. I think I'll use that. Put this one back. So you're going to be seeing me cut things down. And got my scissors here. I got my gel pen here as well. Let's see. Sure, I don't lose that scissor in the mix there. Got a few circles too. And I got some circle punches as well. So let's see, these few pieces of paper, let's start putting some of these together here. Uh, let's see, I did cut some more papers. I like this, look how pretty that is. I've used this in a project before. I like the way that looks. And I might even cut them down even smaller. 
but these look so cute on on cards and they're very unique that's the other thing the uniqueness of all of the these um pieces of paper and just putting things together and there's going to be no two alike which is nice so y'all are seeing this in real time me just go on ahead and putting some stuff together and you can put it cat a corner you don't have to be perfect when you're putting these things together. You just start piling them on. Look how pretty that is. And this is more packaging again, too. And you can always, this is a good time to use your um, peeking shears and your scallop scissors and things like that. Or pinking scissors, I should say. Let's cut sides off of here to create a nice little border there. Just those little details. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to start putting some stuff together. These cute little stickers. Got words. Oh, I do have gems too. I've got little gems and hearts. So I'm just going to be having some fun. It's like having a little assembly line for embellishments. Got some hearts here. Look at all this stuff. I, I can make some cute stuff out of this. And I got my um, circle punch just in case I want to use this to cut out some circles. Okay. And some of you may like your table to be neater. I like to kind of lay everything out so I can see it and start putting stuff together. Okay, so I'm going to move a few of these to the side and then I'll work with a few and then I'll do a couple more. Move some to the side, do a couple more. So y'all get to see this in real time. And we start adding stuff to it. So I'm going to take this sticker. And this is a Dollar Tree sticker. I thought these were so cute. I'm going to put, I like the fact it already has a piece of uh, mounted mounting tape on there. I'm just going to add just a little bit of art glitter glue. And just put that on there. Super cute already. Okay, and let's go ahead and put some of these others together here. Oh, look at this. Isn't this cute? This is so cute. I think I'm going to hold that out there. Let's see what we got here. Look at this heart. Isn't that cute? And I'm kind of liking the way that looks. Oh, yeah, you could put something on there. So let's go for it. I do have some mounting tape in case I want to mount some of these things. So don't be afraid to start using all of your stuff for this project. I think we save it and we end up saving it. And then it's like, okay, what are we saving it for? Right? That's cute. But I think I need to put a message in the middle of this. Your heart. I can put butterflies on here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I like the way that looks. Look at that. I just found something. And see, I could keep this. I would keep this because it even has a little border. Looks like a frame. I'm keeping that for another project. Let's get these other ones here. And you can put these on cards as well. So um, more than likely, I'll use these for some of my cards. But these will be great for like some mini book covers also. Just give it a little background. That is super adorable. Okay, and I can always go back and add words to those. These button flowers, I tell you, those are so cute. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and build this one up a little bit. And you don't have to be straight on. This would be nice to put inside of a mini book. With the, it gives you the date on there too. You can put the date on there. Put that up. Oh, I'll just put it in that corner right here. And I don't like to match everything up. And that's one of the things I don't. That makes this project really fun is because I get to kind of just do it. I don't have to mix and match everything. Yeah, I think I'm going to add some gold to this. Those little stickers. So cute. I'm just going to stick fab right here. Fabulous. Okay, so I've got this. And if you got the edges sticking out, you could always cut it down to size. And so you get some really unique shapes and things from this. Like I'm really liking the way these look together right here and I'm not thinking about it. So I'm gonna take this off. And if I want to mount that, I can. See what else we have here. Put that on there. Let's see. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here. Just a little bit. Doesn't need a whole lot. A little bit right there. And I'm done with that for now. So I'll put my words on there. Let's see what we can find. Uh, what about a good luck sticker on that one? Right there. So cute. And this is a sticker, but I'm just putting some extra on there just to just because. Now you can put this on a card. Mini book inside of a mini book would be nice. If you're making an album, you can put one of those in there as well. This is so cute too. Look at that. I just love the print on that. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see. I need a bigger piece of paper for this one. Let's see. See, I'm picking this out. Let's see. I always forget that I have these scissors that I can do stuff with. Oops, we got fireworks going off. Okay, I hope that doesn't keep going. I'm sure my dog has been freaked out by that. Oh, there he goes. Let me go ahead and let him in. Okay, so I went ahead and glued that down. I'm just going to cut those little ends off that are sticking out. Just that little bit. Now it has a little banner going across here. And let's see what we can add to this. Ooh, that's cute. I am loving that. Go ahead and add that with the purple in it. Boy, I tell you, these Dollar Tree stickers just, they keep getting better and better. Look at that. You see how you can use these on a card or, or whatever, really? It's just up to you all the different possibilities on these. Let's see what else we got here. I'm just lining these up because I still want to add like a little message or a gem to it. I can use this and put something right in there. 
think that'll be cute. Yeah, that'll be cute. Right there. Oh, this will be cute for the um, envelope flip books. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will post it below. Um, those envelope flip books would be cute to use these as decorations for those. And I'm just going to throw a word on here real quick. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. When you put these on a white background, they really make the difference on here. Moments. Yeah, that'll be nice. Just cut that off. I'm just going to stick that right there. Okay, I need to add this onto a larger piece of paper if I wanted to. Let's see. Let's find something different. Everything here. Let's give it some a little bit more color on there. I'm just going to cut this down a little bit because you can. I put that there. And then where's my star here? I'm going to put that right there. These die cuts, I'm just so loving these for decorating. So don't be afraid to mix different colors and things and add words to them, whatever you want to do. This will look nice on here. And I'm going to take something from here. Okay, this has the word fabulous, but that looks like it would kind of fade into the mix. So I'm going to save that for another one. This is awesome. Just like that. Oh yeah, that's going to look cute. I'm going to like that. Yeah, to me, if it catches my eye, I'm going with it. Look how cute that is. Now, one of the things you can do if it's not, if you want, you can take like a, some packaging and put it against that packaging and then kind of just cut it out so that you have a sturdier backing on there. That's just something else you can do. But I'm just going to probably stick that onto a card base, but just wanted to show you something else that you can do. And here's that. This is, let's see, this is awesome and maybe add a little heart to it. A little blue heart is cute. A little blue heart there. You can keep adding to these and making different, just think of them as tiny, tiny canvases. Ooh, this is going to be cute somewhere. I'm going to put it on here because I do have a little bit of blue in there. Let's see. 
these are going to look adorable on cards. Okay, so let's see what else we have over here. This one is really cute. This definitely looks like a crafter's table. Lots of stuff everywhere. Okay, so let's see how we can mix and match this. That has a little bit of a border on it. Makes it stand out. No, nope, we're not putting it on that one. Kind of like that. I wonder if you can see these colors really good up right here. That's different with that black border on there. I see something over here. See a little bit of real pretty layout on this. This is really pretty too. It doesn't show up enough on there for me. Okay, so thinking this lighter color might work better. And that can be an outline. And this came from a larger paper pack. And so I'm going to take some words, just need some words on there. Let's see what we got here. I think gold would look pretty because there is some gold on here. Little gold undertones on there. Let me go ahead and use this. wonderful sticker. I'm just going to put it just like that. Look how cute that is. Okay, here I got this circle here. Let's see what we can add to the circle. Ooh, look at these. Ooh. These came, were sent to me by my friend Pat. Um, she cut these die cuts out of this glitter paper. So pretty. Now that is sparkly. That looks fancy. So let's put that on there. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. These are like some little glittery hearts that I have. I don't know if you can see the glitter on those. I can just add this on there. And it's already a sticker. I'm just going to put it on there. And I put a little bit too much glue on there, but I think it'll be fine. Because it, it will dry clear. And put another one down there. Okay, just move that in place there. And I need a sticker for that. Let's see what we got here. Maybe you just want to say hi. Those are always something you can do. This would be nice on a card. If I was going to send this, I would put it on a card. I'll put it right here in that corner.
Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got this. We got this right here. I'm gonna move some of these other stickers out the way so you can see everything on here. This needs a word somewhere on there. Let's see. I got word cheers, live for today. Ooh, it has a heart. Darling would be pretty. Darling sticker. I think that would be pretty. I must have had these stickers, these word stickers in my stash for about almost a year now. I'm liking this. So there's Dollar Tree stickers on there. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Got some circles. Okay, words, 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 words. This one says special moments. Kind of like the way that looks. Special moments. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, just kind of pasting some stuff together. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out since it needs some kind of backing on there. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that on there. This can easily be a tag. But I think this will be nice in a card layout as well. So I'm leaving a little bit of a white border on this. I think I need to use my smaller scissors. These are a bit too big. And it has been raining here in Georgia the last couple of days. We've had lots of rain and we still have a lot more to go. So that looks good. Now I'm happy with this one. Okay, let's see what we got with these little ones here. Kind of like this. That's really cute. Fits perfectly. Hmm, I like that. Or I can do it at the bottom. I'm thinking of this for a card. I'm going to put that right across the bottom there. Add some sparkle to it. I'm just going to put some glue in a few places, not that much. I think the one thing I could use also is some washi tape. Kind of liking that little. That little sparkly, those circles are so cute.
I don't like thinking about it too much. This one I'm thinking about possibly putting that in a mini album or mini book. Isn't that the most adorable denim sticker? Let's see. One, two. Look at these. I just cut these. These were part of another sticker and I cut them down. This one needs some dimension though. So let me put some of that on there. Let's keep that there, and I think we've got, let's see, look at this, the cupcake sticker. I really wanted to use that. This reminds me of a celebration type thing. Ooh, I kind of like that. It looks fun. That looks really fun on there. Let's see, I have another cupcake here. It's the one that's purple. Nope. Oh, my poor doggy. With the fireworks, kind of freaked him out a little bit. And it's nighttime, so he was just settling down. Okay, look how unique these are. I am loving this. Okay, I got some other paper here. This musical light paper, I'm loving this. And this is a sticker, so I'm going to stick that on the edge of this card here. I should say this embellishment right here. Yeah, so don't be afraid to layer your stuff. Like if I wanted to now, I can take this and put it on here. Um, you can take this, put it on here. There's all of these different things that you can do to make these look so unique. And then you can add them to your card. See that? That blends in too much. Maybe go with something like this. Or I can do something like that. I kind of like the way that looks. I wasn't going to do that, but once I laid that on there, I thought it looked pretty nice with a musical note background. And you see how you're building into your card now? That blends in too much. Blends in too much. That one's okay. Ooh, I like that. That's just different. Cut those rough edges off, and I'm going to use this definitely for some type of card layout. Yeah, I'm just kind of crafting on a whim here. No kind of real thinking going on, <laughs> aka mindless crafting, right? Add a little bit of dimension on there. And this is just the tape. So both of these, all of these I can actually add to a card, but I really I'm really liking the way those look. 
see that one. Oh, that one blends in too much. See so this one. A cute little thank you card, wouldn't it? Just a little bit. So you don't have to stay within the borders of these embellishments. You can kind of come outside the borders because you're going to be adding it to another base of something, which is always nice. Let's see what we got here. Maybe a nice little bright heart somewhere around here. It'd be cute. Pink, red, it's like a little tiny red right there. Look how fun that looks. I think something right there. Let's see what we got. What a cute little pink heart. And these just add more dimension to whatever you already have. And let's see. I think that'll work. And I never have enough thank yous. All right, things you can add in there. Never have enough of those. Well, card. There's always a reason to smile. Isn't that pretty? There's always a reason to smile. What a great message. Ooh, let's make another one. I'm just taking some of my leftover papers. Put this up here. See what else we have. Ooh, so here's another one of those um, pretty uh, die cuts. Wow, that's pretty. So I'm gonna lay that right here. Put that there. And put that right across there. There's always a reason to smile. And this will brighten someone's day. Oh boy, my dog. I hear him. I hear you. Let's see what else we can add on there. Oh, that's too big. Ooh, let's see what we have here. This little birdies. This is a Dollar Tree sticker also, but I'm just adding a little bit of this on there. Ooh, I like that. This little one right here. It just works. Okay, so that's what we've got. That's what we've got. I'm really liking the way these look. Yeah, you can just keep adding on until you, <laughs> you just keep adding it on, right? Nope, I think this will actually work right here. Let's see. I'm liking that. I'm going to go for it. It kind of balances out. It's 
that little glitter on there. So let's go for it. Let's put it right in this corner right here. And it may not look like much, but once you add it to another base or center for your card or whatever you're laying it out on, it just looks so much. It just pops even more. So let's see what else we have here. What's that little ticket looking thing? Hmm. Look how pretty that is. I'm wondering if this would stick to the glittery paper. I'm really loving the way that looks. I know it's meant to have a sign, but it, I guess it's meant to be whatever you want it to be. I'm going to put that on there because I like it. And hopefully it will stick okay. Oh yeah, that's going to stick perfectly. Sometimes you just never know how something will stick to the glitter paper. But that is definitely going to stick. Okay, let's see what else I've got over here that I can add on. Some leftover pineapple paper, huh? Y'all are gonna be like these crazy colors that she's using. Yep, I'm using everything. I just want it to be different. On the other side. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm liking that. Say, yeah, turn it over, and there's a nice little surprise. Family, love, faith. See how you just find something new. So now all of these I could just put in a little um, container and pull them out when I'm ready to use them on some type of card. I love that. I'm going to make it Okay, so I've got that. So, so all these all these scraps of paper are now becoming something. All the scraps. All the scraps. And now all of these, all these individual things can now become some type of card. So move that out the way. See, I can see all of these becoming a card. That might be a good one to film is to make these, how I use these to make a card would be great, wouldn't it? Look at this. This little heart just decided it was going to attach itself to me. So guess what? <laughs> I'm going to use it somewhere in here. Okay, so let me know if you want me to show you how I take these little embellishment thingies. I think this needs a better border and change them into cards. Sort of like a follow up video to this video, I think would be good. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 things you can add and make 13 cards. And I mean, you can keep going with these. 
Look at that. That's the other part of that paper. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and add this on. Move that aside for a minute so you can see. Just going to add that right there. Just giving it that little bit of a border really helps. You can always layer it, push something underneath there. Make that a little bit sparkly. Oh no, I'm really into sparkly stuff right now. Just put that right there. And push that right up underneath there. I'm loving that. So, that easy, simple and easy, just created another one. So now for those of you that have all of those stickers from Dollar Tree, I challenge you to use those things and stop saving them because we can really save <laughs> and then we become hoarders, right? Hoarding our crafts. And I tend to do that too sometimes, so I'm guilty as charged. I'm just pulling out some more papers here. Seeing what I can do. I don't like the way that looks. Yeah, don't be afraid to put your um to layer some of your things here. Make some backgrounds. Nope, I like that one. Here's another one. Look at this. So it's just up to you what you want to do. Kind of like the way that border looks on here. I'm going to cut that down. I'm going to glue it on and cut it down. Then you can turn these into some very unique cards. And make them fun. Okay, so now we've got this, we've got this. Let's see. I think I can find another. It says, Be brave, be happy. I'm going to slip that right along there. That can be an encouraging card that you send to someone. Look at that. Be brave, be happy. So your colors will find each other. You just have to help them along. See, more things for banners. Cut all of these down and then just start adding them to whatever. So there's no reason for you not to find anything to do with your stash. You can always find something to do with your stash. And I just hope this is like helping you to kind of see what's possible. Hmm, that looks pretty nice. Take that and stick it right on there. So basically, you're just helping these things along. Oh, there's my doggy. Let's see. I think that's too cute to put anything over it to cover it, unless it's just a word.
maybe something like hello now that can go on a card that can actually be placed right above that maybe off to the side like that and you can take both of these and add them to a card look how cute that is let's see this has a purple gem on it right kind of tie this little bit of lavender in here let me just show you so I can tend to get caught up when I that I come off screen here so I'm thinking of adding this to this and placing this on a card somewhere maybe right there I'm gonna add a little purple gem on here you just have to let your mind go all right And all the colors will find themselves. That's going to be pretty on a card. And now you, you're starting to add your dimension to your cards without really knowing it. Oh, I let that dry a little bit. Yeah, so grab glue, paper, and whatever else you have. And you can make some truly unique creations here. And so your cards will be different. You don't have to be the same. It, does, it can be whatever you want it to be. And I'm, I'm looking for a home for this because it, apparently it wants a home. <laughs> and I think it actually may have fallen off of one of these. So let's see. is cute. Move this other stuff out the way so I can see. I think it came off of this. That's where it did. It just kind of found its way. I think that one ended up coming off of one of the others. Look how fun that looks. So you got thank you card. You got an inspirational possibility of a card. This is awesome. Yeah, just let me know. I And I think I'm going to just go ahead and just, before y'all even respond, go ahead and record another video showing you how I use this, kind of a part two of how I use this to create my cards. I think that'll be fun because some of you are always looking for card ideas and sometimes you think you have to have a stamp but we can do this without having a stamp on it, right? Look how cute that is. Hmm. Huh. Oh boy, don't get me started again. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move some of these out the way. We're going to use this on some card layouts in a part two video. Just leave that there. So we've got a lot of cards to make. So I will definitely film another part of this. I'm just going to finish up this last one here. And it looks like my I didn't use my pen. I'm sure it's somewhere on here. Let's see. That right there. See everything doesn't nice thing about these embellishments is that everything doesn't have to be lined up. Put that there, but I've got a flower over here that's just waiting. How pretty that is. I'm 
says hello. I'm always in need of thank you cards, just saying hi type cards. How pretty that is. I didn't even use that one yet. We'll have to see. If I put this on here, it's going to need some stitching. But I do like the way the arrow looks. I'm not going to add that in yet. Okay, so let's see what words we have here. Beautiful and fabulous. want everything to overlap just a little bit. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do today. Um, I may end up doing more showing you how to use your stash, how to make some cute embellishments that you can use for all kinds of things. That's cute. Okay, you see those together? There's just so much you can do. So let me just pull these all out so you can see. But just, you know, you don't need a whole lot of time to do these. Um, a lot of you say sometimes it takes you a long time to do your cards, but if you do the embellishments and you have these all ready to go, and everything else will fall into place, I promise you. And if I do the video to the follow-up and you see more stuff added on here, just know um, I couldn't, I had to add something else on here. See, and sometimes you can mix and match these too, so. All right, so stay tuned for part two to this video. I hope this did give you some ideas. I hope it inspired you. And I'm, I'm having so much fun doing this. I may end up creating more and just put them all in a little container for when I'm ready, which of course will soon become a big container because this is fun making these. So I hope this gave you some ideas. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you real soon. Bye. Thank you.